I stamp her. After I posted on the website, my blog, the candle holder, I got many emails asking how to do it, so I figure I might as well do a video. So um, you just put those uh, flameless candle in it, the battery, so then it's very safe. I bet you cannot see it good through the video because it's not dark, but here we go. We're gonna, you're going to see the picture on my blog. I started on one so I can start and finish the process so you guys can see how I'm doing this. I'm using the Hello uh, Dolly um, stamp set. This is just tissue paper that I stamp on and I emboss it on it. So um, I stamp with Versamark, emboss with white and I sponge and I use a uh, charming the stamp set and stamp on it with um, this is a uh, soft suede and I use the flower in Baja uh, Breeze. So after you get this done and the piece that I decide to take, I take a little bit longer on each end there and to wrap it up a little bit. And really this is too long. I'm going to cut some of it because I should have added a little bit uh, shorter. So I'm going to cut this. So this is just tissue paper, you know, that you put in, um, and that you put in uh, wrapping, uh, to wrap gifts. And you want a jar that you can lay it like this. The reason why it's to have it dry, and you're going to see when we put the last step there. First thing you want to do, you want to use your Mod Podge and cover the whole jar completely good. So I'm going to cover this quick. And I'm going to, here we go. So I'm going to cover this very good. It's kind of quiet. I shouldn't say that, my son. It's Right there, you're going to start turning TV on. Here we go. And you want to cover the bottom too. And ear cover all around. Because we're going to cut with the exacto knife there on top so you don't have to go inside it. Okay, now I think we're ready. It's all covered all around. You want to make sure your jar is clean very well. So um, you can use uh, alcohol to clean your jar, just soap and water, it's fine. I want to make sure I don't... here. So make sure you put it on the, uh, the embossing side, go on the outside. So I'm going to put this here and just wrap this around. That's my dog. <laughs> I don't know if you guys heard that. Here we go. You see it's not equal. Don't worry about that. Then you're going to cover again completely your paper. I always start where the, um, the two-piece uh, joint together. I start there and then go in the bottom, make sure it's covered all the way good. I'm adding there to make sure it's staying very good. So you want to make sure your paper is long enough so it go under so you get a good finish around it. And then cover the whole thing very good. My jar it's almost empty, I get a tough time reaching in the bottom. And even if you get some pleat, you know, all around, it's okay because it won't show when it's dry. It's kind of crinkle. It's okay. And here I'm going to put a ribbon so I'm not very picky about around it. But make sure you cover very good all around. We're almost done this step. And then when you're done this step, you're going to have to let it dry completely before we're going to cut the top. And I'm going to show you what I mean by cutting the top. 
Oh, the battery, it's blinking. So now you see this would be all cover. I would put this on top here. I'm going to finish my coat very good. You would let this dry, and then the last step, it's like this when it's all dry. You take your X-Acto knife and you just go around like this to have a good finish. That is it to it. And then I'm going to take some ribbon and decorate around it. Make sure you cut all this good. Voila. So now you get your jar. That is it for today. Till next time, happy stamping.